What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to more Dead by Daylight. Now in this video, we are going to go over the behavior update on all the cheating that has been going on in the game for quite a while now. So, let's get started. So if you play a lot of Dead by Daylight, I'm sure you guys have already come across some cheaters and or hackers. Like me personally, when it comes to the killers, I've seen killers that just swing their... Uh, swing their weapon no matter where they are in the map and it just hits a survivor somehow I have no clue how you can even make that happen but it does and when it comes to the survivor side I've seen a bunch of basically speed survivors like speed gen rushing survivors to where you start the trial all you see is just the survivor doing this all across the map and completes every single gen and has the gates up and running within 5 to 10 seconds of starting the game it's pretty crazy but anyway, let's go ahead and get started right here. News update on cheating. Cheating is an ongoing battle in any online game and Dead by Daylight is no exception. There is a never ending arms race between game developers and cheat makers to find and fix new vulnerabilities. Tackling these vulnerabilities has always been and will remain a top priority to us. Lately, many of you have shared your experiences playing against cheaters and we have no intention to leave you in the dark. First and foremost, we are abundantly aware of the ongoing situation and we have been treating it very seriously. To put it bluntly, cheating sucks. And while we have made uh, many measures to prevent it, it frustrates us just as much as you uh, as much, just as much as you to hear that someone ruined your experience. We tend to stay quiet when it comes to cheating to avoid giving cheat developers vital information, but given recent events, we've decided to pull back the curtain and shed some light on what we've been doing to combat cheating and what we'll be working on moving forward. Please forgive any vague language in this post. We cannot share any information which could be used to make it easier to cheat. So that last part there is does kind of make sense and it's pretty smart. They're not really going to tell us exactly what they're going to be doing to prevent the cheating and the hacking because if the people that are doing all this stuff read this, like they're going to know exactly what they're doing, just go around the whole fix, you know? So it kind of makes sense. So let's move on to the next section right here. It says how we deal with cheaters. 200,000 cheaters banned total in Dead by Daylight, which is pretty cool. You know, it's nice to... Nice to hear, nice to see. And it says 50,000 so far this year alone. So we are nine, almost 10 months into 2022. And so far there's been 50,000 players banned. So I know a lot of people that think that the anti-cheat system in DVD is a complete joke. It doesn't do anything. Reporting someone at the end game is gonna do anything at all. That these cheaters are gonna continue what they're doing and nothing's ever gonna happen. Well, at least right here with this information, it does show us that it does do something. At least 50,000 players have been banned this year alone when it comes to cheats and hacks. So at least it shows us that it is working. How well, we don't know that, but it, at least it's doing something. But let's go ahead and continue right here. Dead by Daylight had this to say. In Dead by Daylight, we have zero tolerance for cheaters. Once we detect someone has cheated or is trying to cheat, their account is permanently banned from the game. There are a few ways we address cheats. One, automated bans. We work with our anti-cheat partner, Easy Anti-Cheat, to report and track new cheats. If the anti-cheat detects one of these uh, being used, they are automatically banned. Two, in-game countermeasures. We make, sh uh, we make changes to both the game client and dedicated servers to prevent cheaters from doing certain things. This lessens the impact of cheats and reduces the amount of damage they can do. And number three, manual bans. We investigate your reports and manually block cheaters. This is crucial when a new cheat has not yet been tracked by the anti-cheat. In the last seven days alone, we have banned over 2,000 cheaters, contributing to a total of 200,000 banned over the lifetime of the game. Additionally, we have continued to expand our team and processes to deal with cheaters more efficiently. There is still work to be done, but our team has made considerable considerable efforts to strengthen various aspects of the game, such as preventing modification to certain game files to block specific avenues for cheaters to exploit and lessen the impact of the cheats that surface. And now we look into the future of DVD when it comes to all of this madness going on. It says future improvements. They posted this picture right here. Uh, first off, live, fix various vulnerabilities. 
two fall 2022 player sniping prevention which is actually a big thing especially if you're a dbd creator and or streamer it is terrible game snipe man it is not fun whatsoever there's people that try to get into a lobby with you and just completely ruin your experience right and fall 22 additional fail safes early 2023 improved support tools early 2023 player report feedback and finally beyond continued support and on the bottom right here it does say ongoing efforts these are things that they're going to keep working on not stop at all it's the anti-cheat updates the manual bans and the in-game countermeasures let's keep it going behavior had this to say going forward we plan to further bolster the game against cheaters this will be done in various ways First, we will continue to identify and fix vulnerabilities to limit the effects of cheats. This includes additional measures to prevent player sniping forcefully joining a specific player's lobby, which is just terrible. Uh, the first version of this fix is currently slated for this fall and will continue to monitor the situation to ensure that it does not resurface. Fixes like these will be an ongoing process. Second, we will be adding failsafes to commonly exploited portions of the game for example should a match ever continue beyond the end game collapse for longer than five minutes this game will forcibly end additionally the max game time will be reduced from two hours to one hour or less this particular change is planned for the quarter four of 2022 and further measures are being explored third we will continue to implement server-sided validation where possible uh, this takes authority away from a cheater's game client and puts it on a dedicated server, making cheating more, uh, much more difficult. This is an ongoing process. And fourth, we have improvements in the works for both our player support tools to better deal with cheats internally. An in-game report system to give you feedback on when a player you've reported was banned. Player reports are a keystone of cheat prevention. Measures in providing this feedback is essential to letting you know that your reports are being dealt with seriously. These improvements are scheduled for quarter one, 2023. Beyond in-game improvements, we will be communicating on our progress against cheats more regularly as part of our developer updates and beyond. We want to keep you in the loop and share as much information as, as we safely can. Last but not least, we want to stress that these are by no means the only measures we're working on but rather the ones we can safely share with you at this time so once again guys they're not really gonna be telling us exactly what they're gonna be doing when it comes to this issue just because if they do if they announce it right here the cheaters and hackers are just gonna try and go around it right so it kind of, it does make sense so let's go ahead and go to the final portion of this update it says how you can help while cheating will always be dealt with as swiftly as possible, your help is invaluable. There are a few ways you can help in this fight against cheating. The best way to help is to use the in-game report system. These reports are critical and help us identify possible cheaters. If you have a video of someone cheating, you can also send it to our support team to, uh, through this link. And if you guys want to check out the link, I'll go ahead and post uh, the link to this whole forum here down in the, uh, in the description, okay? And it says, beyond reporting cheating you encounter, our support team is always available. You should have any information on potential exploits and or cheats. Uh, fostering a safe, cheat free experience in Dead by Daylight is and will always be a top priority for your team. As with any online game, cheating is an ongoing battle and we remain committed to making cheating as difficult as possible. We have been working diligently to limit the number and impact of cheats, and we hope that this post shared some insight into the work we've been doing behind the scenes. Going forward, we hope to keep you in the loop with regular communications regarding cheating and share as much as info as we safely can. Until the next time, the Dead by Daylight team. So there it is guys, there it is. This is how Behavior deals with the cheaters and hackers and how they're gonna be dealing with it in the future and all the improvements they're gonna be doing. So it's really great to see me personally. I run into a cheater maybe every couple days. It's not like every single lobby I go into, which is really cool. But then again, I play on PC. I'm not too sure if it's worse or better on when it comes to consoles. So I can't really speak for that. But yeah, it's pretty much gonna do for me guys. Let me know what you think of all these updates, improvements when it comes to the uh, anti-cheat system and dvd let me know down in the comments but that's gonna do it for me thanks so much for watching please like come subscribe definitely does help a lot follow me on twitch if you want to see any dvd action live i usually stream dead by daylight every single night so come out 
We'll have some fun. And I'll see you guys next video. Make it right. Later.